Are you serious? Are you serious? Guys, Get you know what I'm doing this morning? Yes. Get the tea.com. I had to do that. I got to break in and just tell you guys. Great tea. Mm. I mean, excellent tea. And they, they really are. Get the tea.com. Organic tea. Ronnie's a great guy. Has a Christian company. And they have the best tea, I'm serious, that you could ever drink. It really does. And it's all organic. And it flushes the toxins out of your body. So get the tea.com, all right? Get the tea. Guys, uh, North Carolina, we got a situation. I can't believe this isn't being, uh, this just now breaking. A North Carolina man has been arrested for possession of a mass, a weapon of mass destruction. A North Carolina man has been arrested for a, possessing a weapon of mass destruction. Now, Bart Begley at his website, thecrusaderjournal.com, I'll put the link below, has a powerful article on this. He wrote it uh, on Friday. The North Carolina man employed as an air traffic controller. What? An air traffic controller with a weapon of mass destruction in North Carolina. He, uh, with access to the control tower, uh, he was arrested for allegedly possessing, transporting, and acquiring a weapon of mass destruction. This 30-year-old Paul George Dandan was arrested along with his roommate, Derek Fells, in Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, as a result of an investigation into the November 3rd call to law enforcement concerning an individual with an explosive device, a weapon of mass destruction. Now, authorities have said that Fells admitted building this huge pipe bomb to use against his neighbor, but later handed it over to the explosive. He handed it over the entire explosive device to his friend, Dan Dan. Dan Dan had his employment immediately terminated by the Federal Aviation Administration after his arrest. His access to the Charlotte Douglas International Airport was also revoked. Dan Dan is currently being held in custody according to the Mecklenburg County Sheriff's Office and Fells was charged with three counts of manufacturing a weapon of mass destruction and one count of possession, according to the New York Daily News. So what we have here is an air traffic controller with, with having possession, possession a pipe bomb, a sophisticated one though, and it was big enough that it would be able to do severe damage, certainly would blow up a plane. If he could get that thing onto a plane, it would blow up the plane. Or if he just got that into the airport by using his clearance, he could set it up to where a lot of people were. It could explode and kill a mass casualties. This is incredible that an individual... Now, the story is the one guy built it because he was mad at his neighbor. I'm not buying the story, to be quite honest with you. I'm not buying the story. I don't think he made this to because he was mad at his neighbor and then gave it away to an air traffic controller. And why would he receive it? And why would he hold it? And why wasn't he calling the cops himself saying, whoa, okay? So there's a whole lot more to this story. It's a dangerous situation, but this is the thing that I've been worried about. I'm worried about already the sleeper cells and lone wolf, lone wolf and radicalized individuals that may be already living here in America. They may have came here through migration and they're forming, they're recruiting uh, sleeper cells within the nation. You know, and so we have to really keep our eyes open. So be much in prayer. Thank God that we found out about this, but this is not good. Again, a man in North Carolina who works an air traffic controller. I've flown in and out of the Charlotte airport I don't even know how many times. When I used to be in sales, I used to travel to actually to the uh, Family Dollar headquarters there in Matthews, North Carolina. You would, I always flew into Charlotte. I've been in and out of that airport, I would say, 25 times. I know exactly where it's at, it's, and I can imagine what kind of devastation this could have caused had he been able to pull this off or get it onto a plane somehow with some kind of luggage or who knows. So... Uh, Thank God they caught these guys, and uh, 
This is why we need to pray. This is why we need to pray one for another. We are living in the last days. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. But in the last days, it says dangerous times will come. The scripture says perilous times shall come. Okay, dangerous. You're in that time right now. Give your life to Jesus Christ. He's coming soon.